The point P lies on the curve. Find the equation of the normal to the curve at the point P, giving your answer in the form AX plus BY equals C, where A and B and C are positive integers. The normals to the curve at the points M and P intersect at the point R. Find the coordinates of R. So I've summarized the question all here. So let's look at the first point. P is on the curve. This point here, 9 over 4 and 27 over 4 coordinate, is on the curve. Find the normal at P in the form of this. So we've got our dy dx function, haven't we? So let's have a look at part 1. So I'll move it down a bit and start the problem off. So the normal at P, so the tangent at P then, is equal to, well the gradient is here, 6 minus 3 root x, and the x value at P is 9 over 4. So this is equal to 6 minus 9 over 4 square rooted is 3 over 2, so you've got minus 9 over 2. 3 over 2 times 2 is 9 over 2, so you've got 12 over 2 here, minus 9 over 2 is simply 3 over 2. So that's the tangent, the gradient of the tangent. So gradient of normal, so gradient of normal, so that was the gradient. Uh, so gradient of normal is going to equal minus two thirds, isn't it? Because this product will give minus one. So that's the gradient of the normal at P. So that tells us then that y minus the y coordinate, 27 over 4, is equal to the gradient of the normal, minus 2 thirds, x minus 9 over 4. So let's simplify this and turn our attention to this part 1 then. So we're doing the normal, so we need to simplify this equation. So y minus 27 over 4 is equal to minus 2x over 3 when we expand the bracket plus and it's 18, the 2 will cancel but at the moment it's 18 over 12 which is the same as 3 over 2 isn't it when you divide top and bottom by 6. So multiply through by what they all go into. Let's multiply through by 12 then. Gives 12y minus uh, a 3 will stay here. 327 to 81. So 12y minus 81 because 4 goes into 12 3 times. So 327 to 81. And 12 of these will just leave a 4. So that's minus 8x. And 12 of these will leave a 6, so it will be plus 18. So that tells us then that move the 8x minus 8x over to plus 8x, plus 12y. Um, we need, a, need it in the form ax plus by equals c. ax plus by equals move the 81 over to be with the 18 to make 99. So a is equal to 8, reading off the correspondences. Um, B will equal 12. And C equals 99. So that's the first part done. Normals at M and P intersect at R. So this is the gradient of the normal. This is the equation of the normal. And they intersect at, uh, at M and P intersect at R. Find the coordinates of R. We know the normal at P because uh, the normal at P, I'll write it down again, is x equals 4. So x equals 4 gives 12y is equal to 99 minus 8 fours of 32, move it over there, to minus 32, that's 67. That gives y equals 67 over 12. So R has coordinates then, just a bit more. R has the coordinates 4 and 67 over 12.